When you buy organic peanut butter or grass-fed beef, wouldn't it be great if you could easily verify how the cow was fed or how the peanuts were grown? Of course, the only practical way you can do this is to trust the manufacturer's label. But could a system eliminate that trusted third party and also allow everyone who wanted to eat a particular type of food confirm its origin independently? The only way to do this would be some kind of system where records for every cut of beef at every point along the supply chain could be stored in multiple locations, all the facts easily verified, and the security and integrity of the entire system guaranteed in a way that anyone or everyone could confirm it. Welcome to the world of blockchain technology. Blockchain is a way of storing transaction data across a network of personal computers, also called nodes, with each node maintaining a complete copy of the entire database, which is also called the ledger. That way, everyone in the network can use it and help run it, and everyone can individually confirm the integrity of the entire chain of transactions. This is a distributed network, meaning that many nodes in the network work to verify and secure each transaction. It's also decentralized, meaning that there is no one central authority over all the nodes. This is important for two reasons. No one can cheat the system because all the other nodes in the network are watching to make sure the copy of the ledger on all the other nodes are in sync with them. It's essentially impossible for any one person or group to take down the network. How does it work? To initiate a transaction, you broadcast to the network that the amount on your account should go down and the amount on a receiver's account should go up. Nodes or computers in the Bitcoin network encode the transaction or hash it, apply it to their copy of the ledger, and then pass on that transaction to other nodes. The transactions are then bundled into blocks which are hashed together with previous blocks to form a chain of blocks, making it even harder to tamper with any part of the chain and introducing another layer of security and privacy. Blocks of transactions can also be signed to preserve the sequence of transactions and create a continually updated audit trail. Distributed shared ledgers establish a single version of transaction truth. Since anyone on the network has access to and can verify the truth of the entire chain, you could actually use a chain like this to trace the origin of that steak or peanut butter all the way back to the farm.